this shit! This horribly unfunny episode of Triple THS is brought to you by DraftKings.com! Alright, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you goofy fucking goofs! Oh, Dana, Ken, and Barbie lost again. First of all, shut your fucking mouth. Secondly, they're like 15 years old, there's plenty of time for them to get better. Thirdly, shut your fucking mouth. And fourth, who's got some fucking questions? Michelle Watterson, you made quick work of PVZ tonight. Yep, and I'm my daughter's favorite fighter now. Sorry, Sakuraba, you just moved to number two. Listen, I'm not sleeping, I'm awake as fuck. I'll outdance and outfight anybody in this division. So if you want to get wrecked, come find your girl. Uriah Faber, you ended your legendary career tonight by brutally mauling Brad Pickett. Is there anything you would like to say? I mean, it is what it is. I had a good long career. I fought the best in the world. I started a gym for small children. I was a world champion. Only person to ever beat Dominic Cruz. Check the record, bud. So yeah, it is what it is. No regrets. Gonna run my gym and run Hollywood. Herb Dean, thumbs up. We're now gonna go live to Dominic Cruz and Cody Garbrandt. They've got some things they want to say about Uriah. Hey, brother, I just wanted to say thank you. You've been a tremendous mentor. Shut up, man. People want to hear me. I have the history with them. I'm the best in the world. You're the best in the world till December 30th. Oh, yeah, who's the best in the world after that? Don't tell me it's you. Look at your legs, bro. What does that even mean? What about my legs? You got no wheels. Yeah, because I'm a human being. Wheels are for robots. You got pillow hands. Listen, Pee Wee Suit, these pillow hands have got wins over your whole team, and with your chin, I don't need hands. Whatever, your suit is stupid, and my chin's never been better. You're not gonna do shit with your busted-ass hands. Gonna bust all over your face. I'll eat everything you got. This took a weird turn. Let's regroup. Look, Cody, you've never fought anybody. Who have you ever beat? Everybody, including Demetrius Johnson. There's only three fighters you've beat that even have a Wikipedia page. You're scared, bro. These hands are gonna be too much. It's fate, man. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Your last win is over a guy who lost four of his last five that I beat after 16 years off. I never chased pussy in my whole life. I'm not sure that's relevant to the conversation, but let's talk about how I haven't been hit by 76% of the punches thrown at me in my entire career. Only takes one. I'm a savage in there. I'll find you. You're going to find Herb Dean waking you up from a nap. You're going to find Herb Dean waking you up from a nap. I already said that. You're not going to say anything December 30th. I mean, we're the co-main event. I doubt that I'll go the entire day without communicating at all before that. Whatever, man. You're lucky I'm not backstage. Uriah, brother, thank you again for everything. I'm dedicating my victory over you to Uriah. I'm doing this for you, Uriah. You can't do that. He's my teammate. I don't care and I just did. Uriah, this one's for you, man. I love you. Fuck you, dude. There's kids watching. Don't cuss. Uriah, you're my best friend. This fight's for you. Alan Joban, you earned a pretty decisive decision win against Mike Perry Saturday. Is there anything you would like to say about that fight? Yeah. You're welcome. Mickey Gall, what was Sage saying to you during the fight? Uh, you know what, man? He's a good kid. He's a tough kid. Good kid. He was saying things like, come on, man, stand up and I'm gonna try my hardest to beat you. And hey, remember to floss at least once a day, you know, stuff like that. He's a good kid, man. Hey, Mr. Gall, I just want to say thanks for the fight and congratulations on your win. Look, Mr. White, I met some new friends. Oh, God, Sage, get the fuck out of there right now. Whatever they say to you, don't listen to it. Mr. Diaz and Mr. Diaz were just telling me they'd like to help me with my jujitsu and that they could teach me how to do a technique called a massive bong rip. Haha, huh, that sounds fun. Oh, dear God, is somebody back there? Where's security? We're gonna teach the fuck out of this motherfucker. Lesson one, Sage. All these motherfuckers selling wolf tickets and everybody's just eating them up. Do we eat wolf tickets, Mr. Diaz? Nah, man, fuck that. You stay real, it's kill or be killed. You a same motherfucker. Whoa! No wolf tickets for me, please, Mr. White. Sage, just stay where you are. Somebody's coming to get you out of there. Mr. White, I was wondering, if it's okay with you, that for my next fight, I fight a hitter, and not somebody who wants to lay on top of me for all the rounds. Tell him about pride rules. Oh, yeah. And I think I might have won tonight's fight under pride rules. Also, I want $10 million. That's what's up. Stop to not- Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Haha. <laughs> That's fun. I'm sorry, Sage, you're cutting out. I can't hear you. We'll talk again sometime when you're nowhere near Stockton, California. How about we wrap this fucking thing up? Last question. Mickey Gall, why in the fuck did you call out Dan Hardy? Oh, man, you know what? It's just, he's a good kid. Look, man, I'm young in the tooth. I don't think that's an expression, but continue. I think I want to go down to 155 and suffer a bit, but I'm a huge Dan Hardy fan, and I googled him up, heard he might want to fight again, so I thought, hey, why not throw up a Hail Mary, you know? See if he's interested. And if he doesn't want to fight, you know, what's Tank Abbott doing? I'll fight Dan Severn, Forrest Griffin. I think Batista tried MMA one time. You know, I don't know, man. I'm just young, you know? But you can't blame me for wanting big fights. Dan, if you're out there watching, it would be an honor to fight you, man. I'm a huge fan. Huh. I guess Mickey wants to be a real rock and roller.